guys! Um, today I'm going to review three natural deodorants. Um, Tom's Nourish Organic and a homemade recipe that I got from Lauren Singer's channel. If you don't know her, she's super awesome. She um, is known for fitting all her landfill trash into a mason jar. So I'm going to tell you what I think about these bad boys. Um, what my experience was with them, my first impression, and the application. First, I'm going to start with Tom's. Now, most people who have done a little digging with natural deodorant have heard of Tom's. And most, the average person has heard of Tom's. I mean, it's the most popular natural deodorant. Um, so I already kind of had an impression of it. I had already heard of it. Um, when I thought of natural deodorant, I thought of Tom's. So. My first impression was that it was going to work. I hadn't heard any bad things about it. Um, I was at the store and I was smelling a few scents. And the one I decided on was Soothing Calendula. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm super sorry. But um, yeah, so that's it's like a floral scent. And it's really mild, which I really liked. And that's why I decided on it. Um, of course, it's cruelty free. Um, no seeing on animals, no artificial colors, yada yada. Um, they share every ingredient as sustainable practices, um, and they strive to maximize recycled content, which is so awesome. And 5% of employee time volunteering, 10% profits to human and environmental goodness. So as far as super awesome, not needed, not your average deodorant, um, they're pretty much taking the bank, man. Okay, so like I said, it's a mild scent and it is clear. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I could tell that before I bought it that it's it looks like a more gel application, so it's not gonna go on white, was my impression. Um, I tried this on as soon as I got home. And um, it smelled pretty good. I mean, it covered up, like, well, I, I don't think I got any B.O. or whatever, and, um, but it worked for about three hours, and then I started to sweat and maybe smell a little bad, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so my first impression when trying this on is that it only lasts a couple of hours, so, um, I didn't mention that before this, before transitioning to natural deodorant, the deodorant I used was secret. And when I use secret, like I didn't have to use a lot, I, like it's something I'm barely worried about. Worried about. Um, I just put on a little and I was good, like for the whole day. Like, um, even if I went to bed, woke up, like I did not smell bad. Like I could sweat. I live in Texas, so I could sweat and it was like no issue. I never smelled bad. But since transitioning, um, it doesn't last as long, which is understandable. But this one lasted about four hours, which, in my opinion, I don't want to be putting on deodorant, reapplying deodorant every four hours. That's just not my goal. So, as far as application, um, when I put this on. I don't know if you can really tell on my arm. I don't want to do it on my, my armpit because, hello, I don't want to put you guys through that. But, um, yeah, as far as, it, it's, it goes on clear on your skin. But when I put it on in my armpit, it leaves a little bit of a white residue, which isn't a huge deal. But just so you guys know about that, um, it leaves a little bit of a white residue. Um, but I just rubbed it in a little bit, and it was it was good. It didn't leave any residue on my clothes or anything like that, so... That's pretty much my sum up of this deodorant. Um, I only used it for that day because I got my impression of it. It worked for about four hours, so I figured I didn't have to go on longer than that. But um, the next day I tried this Nourish Organic, which I didn't mention price, which was, this one was about $3 and change, and this one was like $8 and change, so it was more than double the price. But what appealed to me to this was it was organic, and um, I figured I could try an all-natural and then an organic deodorant. And um, and I hadn't heard anything anything about this about this brand. I just saw it and it looked pretty. It was the flowers and it looked appealing. So um, I opened it up and I smelled it. And this scent is lavender mint. Goodness, guys, this is what drew me in. Like. It smells so freaking good. I don't know if you guys are into lavender, which I'm not usually that into lavender, but something about this lavender mint just smells amazing. 
oh, this smells so good. So that's really, I was like, well, ugh, whatever. I'm gonna get this deodorant because it's worth investing if you're gonna smell like it every day. So I was like, yes, I can smell like this every day. So anyway, I got this and I don't know if you guys can see the color of it, but it actually is white. It's not a clear application, which was kind of a huge deal for me. It might have been a deal breaker before I bought it, but it was scrolled down so far that I couldn't see I couldn't see what color it was. And as I was opening the deodorants, the lady at H E B got super pissed and was like, You can't open a deodorant and smell them like and I was like, Okay. So I didn't so I already smelled this one, so I just went ahead and threw it in the basket. So Yep. Anyway, so, when I got, what, the next day I put this one on, and this has the weirdest application I've ever seen in my freaking life. Now, if you see that, that's how it goes on your armpit. No different. No different. I mean, that's how white it goes on your armpit. And it's not only white, like a powdery white. It's like creamy. It's like the consistency of like shea butter, like thicker than shea butter. It's like really thick, and it doesn't, it doesn't rub in. Um, so that was pretty much a deal breaker for me. Like, I don't care how good it smelled, how pretty it looked, it was white on my armpit, and I could not rub it in, and it was gonna be on my clothes. So it's just an extra thing to worry about, like when you're getting dressed. Like, it, do I have white stuff on my shirt, and is it gonna come off? So I kept it on to see if it works, and. It worked pretty well. Um, it worked, I would say, maybe for like half a day, <laughs> which isn't, I mean, that's not too bad. I mean, um, applying like in the middle of the day, reapplying in the middle of the day is not really that much of a hassle, um, but like I said, it has this like beady, weird, it's like such a deal breaker for me, I don't know. Like even if it works, it's kind of just a huge thing that it kind of, that it beats up like that, you know? But anyway, that's my impression of that deodorant. Now last but not least, I have the homemade deodorant. And um, like I said, I got this recipe from Lauren Singer. I can give you the link to her YouTube video, which I actually watched to make this. Um, it smells really good. I can't remember if I put anything in it. I might have put um, Stress Away Essential Oil Blend, um, which is like my favorite, and it's um, Young Living Essential Oils. So I might have put that in there, but mostly it just smells like shea butter and coconut butter. I mean cocoa butter and... I mean not cocoa butter, coconut oil. It smells like coconut oil. So, um, the ingredients I used for this one was, I'll show you how it looks. That's how it looks. Um, it's, I used it a lot, so that's why it looks all used, but, um, I used... And, um, I ordered all the ingredients off Mountain Rose Herbs, which is, like, a really, um, they have, it's a really reliable website. They have a really high standard for... Um, the products they list being sustainable and organic and um, ethically ethically produced and um, all that good stuff. So they have a really high standard and I, they're really trustworthy in my opinion. Um, they just seem really transparent. So I ordered all my ingredients off of there and I didn't have to use that much to make this. And my first impression was Lauren Singer said it really worked, so <laughs> at least it worked for her. She did disclaim that it might not work for everyone. But um, out of these three, this is my favorite. And I honestly would have not stopped using it other than it irritated my skin. Like, I used it for, for a couple of months, like maybe, I don't know, maybe like six to eight months, and uh, it was fine. But then my skin started getting irritated, which I should mention that I went cold turkey. I went straight from like secret to this deodorant because I was trying to um, find in a find a deodorant that was not only organic, natural, but also zero waste. It goes on the consistency of shea butter, so um, you put it on. You pretty pretty much put it on just like lotion, and it goes on clear. It just goes on like it lathers in like a lotion would. Um, 
it worked really well. Um, I would apply this and I would be good for the whole day. Um, if it was like it's like it was in a sweaty situation or something like that, I would have to reapply it. But other than that, I was really good and it smelled really good. Like my arm, it smelled really good. Um, but the only reason I stopped using it is because it was irritating my skin. So I could, I could have the balance a little bit off. Like I should add um, maybe some more shea butter or something like that. Or my sister made the suggestion that maybe I should put in lavender or some um, kind of essential oil that's antibacterial. So anyway, that concludes my review of these three fabulous deodorants. Um, I mean, this is my experience with them. They may work with you, so you might want to give them a try. At least you have a little idea of how they are now. Um, I mean, at least they're making an effort to have a higher standard for the production of their product. So, if you like this video and you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe for more videos. Uh, my channel is going to be based on um, just little changes and little actions to take in your everyday life that can make a difference. And you can be a baby activist today. <laughs> just subscribe, like, and keep up to date with me, man. And I'll keep sending you more interesting and useful content. If you have any requests, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!